The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hello, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, October the 26th, and we're looking at the Dow making a new all time high. I pulled back a little bit from the intraday high. I suspect that the uh, 35,900 is going to offer some resistance before we get to the 36,000 level. We'll see. At this particular point, we're at 35,865 in leg D. Now, this is going to be very interesting. I'll, I'll take some time in a moment if I have a chance, because I've had some uh, very. Uh, uh, some very good questions come in, and, of, and I had a couple that came in yesterday, which I didn't see until too late, so I'm going to get to those. Uh, let's, let's look at the Dow, first of all. The MACD, the moving, the daily chart on the left here, uh, yes, it says we're along, we're along from around about 35,000, we're at 35,829. We've added to our long position, core position, from uh, March 23rd of last year, uh, where we started buying the Dow. Uh, so we're looking at um, the flat stochastic at 96%. That is usually very good, and it's not telling you that you're about to turn down unless there's some bad news because the technicals here are strong enough. The MACD is extremely strong. On balance volume is lagging. It hasn't gone. Look on the left side, back around about the 18th, 19th of um, September. Look how overbought that got, and then it pulled back. But this hasn't gone overbought yet. It's only in a leg C on the upside and the on balance volume. Um, the nine period moving average is way above the 14 and the price is way above the, the nine. So, so far, it's, it definitely has to be some kind of a bad news that filters into the market that is reflected negatively by the, by the market because it does not like that news. Other times news comes in, market says, eh, oh, hum, couldn't care less. So we'll see so far it's acting well up 71 points. Look at the S&P. The S&P is up 22 at 45.88, all-time high, hit 45.91 today. Leg E in the weekly chart, only a leg B in the monthly. This is incredible that we've gone from last year, March of last year, at the low of 21.91. We've had only one peak in the Chapman Wave methodology, and that was that peak that around about, what was that, May? Uh, sorry, no, September, September of 2020. Uh, it has one little pullback, a, little, a single, a single, like a red candle, but it was still an up bar, and then a red candle with a down bar, and then we immediately start leg B, and this is called in the Chapman methodology a floating letter, and it floats and floats and floats until it makes a peak. What is a peak? Look at a mountain. A mountain has a peak because the left side's going up and the right side's going down. We're not going down yet. This is still going up. Unbelievable. I mean. 21.91 to 45.89, and you've had one little minor excuse of, for a peak? Wow, that is really something. So strength is here. I suspect in the intraday we're starting to get real choppy. I think we're about really close uh, to making some kind of a top this week, short-term top. Why? We've got a leg C in the daily. We have to wait for a peak that maybe, maybe it's tomorrow. Wednesday, there's a, there's a lower high bar. And then Thursday or Friday, you make a new high bar. That goes to leg D. And then we've got to be careful if the technicals are suggesting that there could be some kind of a pullback. So far, the technicals are suggesting no. Uh, let me see. Did I finish that? No, I didn't. I just do this real quickly. Yes, I did a lot of work on the E minis. Uh, 120. I wanted to spend some time today on my 120 minute charts. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. In the Chapway methodology, you're always looking for at least uh, four higher peaks. Let me just show you this quickly if I can get to it. This is for, for newcomers to my work. You're finding uh, what you do is you, you try to identify the lowest low bar, and then you merely count each successively higher peak alphabetically with an uppercase on the way up, down case, uh, lowercase on the way down. And it can go all the way A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven higher peaks. It never goes to an H. There's no, it's like the piano, the notes on the piano, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, never an H. So, um, 
at the fourth highest peak, peak D, other things can happen. Could be E, could be F, could be G, but at D is where you lift your foot off the accelerator momentarily to see whether or not you're hovering over the brake because other things can happen. Well, look at this. The E, the e mini, this is a continuous contract. Now, I, I would not be trading off a continuous contract, but I use it all the time because it gives me a real good sense. I, in this particular case, I do not have the E mini, the December E mini going back long enough. Here I got it going all the way back as long as I want. And you can see leg B in the monthly chart right there, the little bit that you can see the E mini uh, S&P continuous contract. So today we've gone to an E just underneath the Chubb wave inside track repellent zone. See the, the pink and green lines? It gets repelled every time. This is a PD repellent right back at about 10, uh, 10 on the 19th, uh, at 10 o'clock or what, 11 o'clock maybe, on the 19th of uh, October. Then it goes peak A, B, C, D. And then all of a sudden, round about, just right on 10 o'clock, I think it was the 23rd of October, it has a, a sharp pullback, goes into a rectangle formation, and then breaks out and goes peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. And now we've got, ah, we've got, uh, 4583 and 4582.50 with a chance. Well, I don't know, but maybe a chance that in this 120 minute bar we make a peak E. But look what's happening the MACD is good, stochastics flat at 93 percent, uh, unbalanced volume is good, everything's good. So, so far, it's bumping up against that. That's the way I use this particular technique, it's a simple technique until you get to D or E, and then you have to make some decisions. And it can become a little complex, but you should try to keep it as simple as possible. Leg B in the week. This is only a leg B in the weekly. I don't want to be going short just yet. Maybe on an intraday basis, yes. But not, not on a longer-term basis. This is just so too strong, and it's leg D in the weekly chart. Let's go to the QQQ, one, two, three. Did I do the Qs? I thought I did. Oh, no, I didn't do the Qs. What I did. I haven't finished the queues, but I did do the NQ, which is the continuous contract, and this has just gone to a leg D. You can see what I'm, I mean by just an, on a very short-term basis, getting to some kind of a potential pullback, but so far that's all it could be. It's just an 120-minute chart. Meantime, back at the ranch, this is only leg C. <laughs> a leg C, a beautiful leg C, I must say, in the uh, daily chart, and it's at 15,665, what was the previous high? This is a continuous contract, 15,699. 699, whoa. we're only, what, 20, 29, 30 points from an all-time high. So this is still very positive. Now let's go to the um, IWM, the Russell 2000. Russell 2000, leg E. Within the rectangle formation going to the upper length, it's now leg C in the weekly chart, great leg C. Uh, and the MACD is almost about to turn positive. Isn't that amazing? So, so far, this is a very good action on the Russell 2000. All right, let's get to gold quickly. Gold <clears throat> pulling back very sharply now down 21. I had this notated in the continuous contract. It went to a peak F slash C, then it hit the rectangle formation. Within that, you've got your arch. These are all techniques that I discuss uh, in my webinars and my CD introducing the Chevrolet Wave methodology. And yet it is coming all the way back to retest that low around about 1782, 1776. So 1779 is the 200 period experience of moving average. Um, wow, great coming up. Let me see if I can just finish up things quickly because I want to get to those questions. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Guys, I'll find you. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, we're back. That was 118 S&Ps up 29. And during the break, I must have done what? How many charts? I don't know how many charts. I got quests, requests for them. I, I'm going to come back to some of them. They were very interesting. But I wanted to say gold is down 21. Remember I said gold is in a range. It is tradable, but it's more an intraday type trade. When you go to the Bitcoin, that's a little different. Bitcoin has had a huge move. Now it's in this consolidation phase. It's at a peak D in the, in the daily I'm calling this, at least for now, I don't see any reason why I should change that. A leg C in the weekly chart and a leg D in the monthly chart. So it's kind of had this real big flurry. Now there's a lot of competition for tradables. I need to see what that crazy thing, WAC, uh, did I type? Yes, WAC, that's down 10 and 73, 92. He has a stock that's trading in the 12s on one day. And the next thing you know, it's at 170 something. I mean, and now it's at 973. So there are a lot of things that are taking place that are usurping some of the uh, tradables that would normally be in play. And that's why I'm saying gold has got something else going for it. If you look at the dollar DXY, the dollar is holding well, but it's in the, it's pulled back quite sharply at peak F in the Chapman wave at 94.56, the, the October 12th high. I was asked um, uh, by a couple of people over the last couple of months, uh, and one person in particular saying, Kyle, why, do, like, why do you use up that line in your trader's corner for the dollar when really not doing very much? That's only because I do have people that are, are overseas who have money, they have businesses, they, they need to deploy the money in certain ways. They really want to know what the dollar is doing. So we've been along the dollar since April of 2018 at 90.07 via the UUP. We never got stopped out, even though it ran up all the way to almost 103. And then it pulled back, down back to 89.21. We never got stopped out. We are still long. And I'm kind of keeping it because of a couple of things. It's almost like a benchmark of the U.S. economy. And I just believe that as the economy gets stronger, I think the dollar will get stronger. That's just my thinking. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, back at the ranch, let's get back here. We want to look at the TLT, and then I'll go to the calls. Well, I'll go to my questions here. Uh, TLT is now pulled back. It's only up seven cents. I think yields, I mean, what was that? Uh, Ruby posted, uh, let, let's just see, she said, she posted earlier on that the, oh, if I can find it, uh, the Fed, which one this is the Richmond, I believe it was the Richmond, yeah, I'll get to it, there it is, uh, 
wrong slide. Uh, 959. There. Uh, uh, Richmond Fed manufacturing index for October 12 versus minus three last month. I, I have to tell you that things are really improving. And in fact, as this as this variant, the Delta variant starts to be attained, I think we're going to see um, a lot going on in terms of the economy. And so one of the reasons why you're looking at, I mean, automobile companies, uh, they might not be having, but they are selling at top dollar. And that really makes a difference. When you're selling something that $5,000 over the sticker price, um, I think that you're starting to see, you don't have to make that many sales and you're doing very well. I think that's what we're looking at, but that's also going to come to roost at, at a certain point. Uh, I, just a, a real quick, I just want to get to this because it came up. PRPHF, I can never, these letters are, are very difficult. Uh, yeah, this is BR, we had look at, looked at this yesterday. What is this? This is the, I'm not even sure what it is. Uh, if I can read it. This is Ga Galaxy Digital Holdings, up today, up uh, 0.32 with 22.60. Yeah, this is leg A, PK. Leg A again. So this is leg B. It's acting very nicely. It's trying to get out of the rectangle. It's trying to make a cup formation. Yes, this is good action. I agree with you. Good action. Another question came up earlier about SHW. SHW, Sherman Williams um, had not such great news, um, but they are... Their favorite color is green. Look at the look at the charts, occasional reds, and um, look at this. It went it went very red early this morning. It dropped down from yesterday's close in the 340 area. It drops down to a low today of 302, and it's trying to come back. It's only down 76 cents of 308. It might even turn green by the end of the day. Ha! Huh, look at that. Look at that V-shaped pattern in the weekly chart, leg E, and leg D in the monthly chart. So yes, I hope that helps you. you just wanted to see the chart. There it is. Uh, yes, is there a recovery faster than a V-shape? Um, a V-shape, I love the V-shape pattern. The cup pattern takes its time and then turns around. It has a, a, a stronger momentum, but in terms of just absolute speed going straight down and then in either a shorter time frame or the same time frame, if the price doesn't go to the top and then reverse, in other words, Sherman Williams had a high on, on the week of the 27th of August, of 309.98, the next week was 310.41, so that was the height peak D. It pulls back very sharply to the 270s, and it took one, two, three, four sessions, weekly sessions to go down, and you've got one, two, three, this is the fourth weekly session higher, and we've made a high of 310.71. three, 10.75, which is just was it 25 30 30 something cents above the previous high you want to see this follow through all the way and you want to see a weekly close above 310 311 i'm going to say above 311 you've got it the the right side of the v has to break out to the upside as if it's like a brand new buy mode rather than a continuation of the pattern from the buy mode before, which is this is a peak d i'm calling this e i'm not even giving it an alternate count e slash b just yet I will when that MACD crosses positive in the weekly chart. So this is great action, but it's not good enough if you want to see the explosive right side V that you often get, like here's a V-shaped pattern, <clears throat> and you want to just continue higher. So, so far, that's a good sign. We'll see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're short. I, I shouldn't laugh, but I was talking about it on the right. Uh, uh, yeah, if you are short, what you want to see is this... It, there's nothing wrong with being short of that. I've got this as a peak C in the daily. But you want to see a failure pattern. By the end of the day, we're down 80 cents. Not good enough. The failure pattern would say if you um, if you close below yesterday's open of 308, round number, high, round number open, if you can close today, oh, I actually, actually, even 308 is not good enough for me. You'd have to be deeper than that. I want you to be in the 307.30 area or lower, then I'd say exactly. Then then you've got it. It was down 750 this morning. You felt good. This is one of those cases you take your hands off the wheel to pat yourself on the back. 
That's when you hit the tree. So just be careful. Handle this as if it's in a peak C, possibly today, and it should still go to a D, even though the earnings are bad. Look, it's come back so nicely after earnings. This is Sherman Williams, SHW, trading at 308.68, down $1.05. A little bit better than it was just a moment ago when it was only down 40 cents. So just have have respect for the strength that it's showing you. That's all I'm saying. All right, I know you know how to handle these trades. All right, now I have to go to this. Yesterday, no, over the weekend, I found, I, I just... I happen to be tidying up a little bit. I need to tidy up every once in a while because of the, I usually know where things are, but it still looks a little bit of a mess, but I do know where they are. Well, I found something from January. And I was going to show it yesterday. Then we could carry it with other things. At the same time, I got a request from the same person. Something new. I'll be back in a moment. You look at the fires up. I'm Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So in the, uh, during the break, I did again, I did a bunch of uh, charts that people had asked me to do. Uh, so, so a question came up about NUE, -E, this is a new co co corporation. And because the person's in it, I'm going to do this right now. I, I have this as a as a just an alphabet A B C D E F F right here. But look how strong this is. And the person said I I, I might take profits. I'm just going to suggest uh, rather not take profits. Look, it's at 111.12. Uh, yes, you could take something off right now because it, it definitely has a spectacular move. But I, this is steel is actually starting to work. 
and it could turn around. Yep, absolutely. But there's a chance that this is an alternate count. If this is a new leg A, that's amazing. But it could still go F, and then it could go to a G. Um, the MACD is good. Stochastic's flat at 79%. On balance flow is a tad overbought. That's why I say, yeah, take a little bit off. I would rather keep a, a, a core position because this is, look, yes, there's a potential head and shoulders in the weekly, etc. But it's in play. The steel just suddenly, yeah, F, uh, uh, what is the one we used to have? Uh, CLF. It's just it had a fabulous earnings, etc. I would not get too carried away. Take a little bit off right here. Um, I, there's nothing negative at this particular, other than the on-balance volume says, be careful, it could have a bit of a pullback, but a bit of a pullback means, yeah, so it gives back, look, today's low is 107. It's trading at 100, three points higher right now. Um, just give it a little room. Don't I take something off. I would not get out of the position if you got in nicely. This is... A ch there's a chance that it holds and that it tries to get back into this area right here, that ugly candle of the 10th of September of 116. So I'm just saying to you, I, I, I do understand taking a little bit off right now, but I don't think I would scare it out so that I have to now bother about getting back in. That's what I'm saying. So you can even have positions that you want to scare it out in, but give it, give it a little bit more of a chance. All right, so I want to go to this uh, uh, Pfizer was the question. So what's the question? Um, so it turns out that this person emailed me yesterday, but over the weekend, as I was doing some tidying up, and I found a, a printed copy of a question that this very same person had asked me. Um, and I'm going to get to that. And I, I told him when he had emailed me, did you get my uh, question? Came in. It came in at the right time, but for some reason I didn't see it until later. And it turned out I was about to actually start an analysis of that January question, not the one that you just sent me. So the one that you sent me was, please take a look at Pfizer. I'm long at $35 and would like to add to the position. Using your methodology, what are the charts saying about Pfizer for an entry? I'm planning on this being a long-term hold. Uh, as always, thank you for all you do for us, Alan. So this is what I'm looking at. The weekly chart and the monthly chart had such big pullbacks from Chapman Week Peak D that it seems to me there's a lot of work. And the whole thing with the Pfizer, with Moderna, with uh, 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 now we've got Johnson Johnson, it's starting to be a situation where the best has been done. It's not the best is yet to come. That's just my thinking. So as a long-term position, whatever fundamental, whatever you're looking at, I'm not going to either agree or disagree with. I'm just saying I don't know. I'm just looking at the chart. This, if this was at 46, somewhere in the in the towards the middle part of this huge range, range between 52 and 40, I'd say, oh, okay, it looks like it wants to head back towards the highs. But at this particular point, I treat it more as kind of a dividend stock. A stock that is a great company. It's had a huge success going from the 32, 33 area all the way to 52. And then it's pulled back quite some. And with all the news and everything, it really should have been up in the uh, 68, 72 area. So even there, that means that the money that's being made is a different kind of money than, uh, than when it was projected that it would be amazing because it would be all around the world and everybody would take the Pfizer. So I'm just going to say to you, I like the actions, 43.33, it's in leg C, it's bumping up against the 50-period moving average. If you're a longer-term holder, what I would say to you, and you were looking to add to the position, and you're in at 35, and it's had this, that means you've had this huge move to the 52s, and it, you've seen it come all the way back, and you're still in it, it means that you are really prepared to buy and hold in the absolute strongest tradition of a buy and hold. And that is, you don't really care. You believe in the company. At some point, you think it'll be making all-time highs. Now, all-time highs, that's something else again, because this is Pfizer. It goes back uh, generations. But absolutely, this all-time high, I believe, should have been an all-time high. Uh, let me just go back. Oh, it was at 47, 44 back in 1999. So what are we talking about? Uh, finally, 
uh, three months ago, it broke above that. It took a little while. It's in 1999 to 2021. It took a little while for it to get back there. So all I can say is as a buy and hold, I don't want to even change your thinking. That's what it is. So your question is, where should I enter? I should have said to you uh, in the 42 area is kind of where I would start a two split part new entry, one here. And then I would just wait on the other. I don't mind putting in higher if it's starting to show absolutely decided weekly higher highs and higher lows. But at this point, I'm thinking rectangle formation. Um, I don't even think there's a, a rush necessary to get in. But right here at 43.29, I'd split a new position into two. And my first part of that would be start a position here at 43.28. And then let's give it time. I'd like to give it three weeks. Now I'd like to give it to November the 24th. No, that's too late. November, the the week of the 15th. The week of the 15th, let's see where it is. That's to me. I need time. I need to see whether the time is going to be beneficial for it to try to get into the 44, 45 area, where the time just says, you know what, nothing to see here, folks. Just a sideways action. Good, good company. It's just not breaking out. It's going to go sideways between 40 and 44, maybe, or even 39. But that's what I want to look at. So you could do a little nibble here in the 43, 26 area. I'd probably say I wouldn't even rush necessarily. But here is a starter position of a, of a split new entry for the longer term. But I would even split that up. And I'd rather I'd rather have two positions. And one could even be higher. One could, I don't mind if it's at 45. Uh, if everything's looking really good, looks to me like it's heading towards the 52 high that was made. Um, I don't mind. But at this particular point, as a longer term buy and hold, you just want to accumulate positions on major pullbacks. That's kind of the way these things work uh, in the longer term as a great build up of a position. And then someone turns around and says, wow, you've got what X number of shares. How do you get something? You say, no, I accumulated them. My average price is not what you're looking at. My average price is and then you name your average price. So that's the way I'm looking at it. What I did want to do is to surprise you and look at a stock and the name of the stock is well first let me give you the symbol the symbol is vmc and i almost had it the other day i did a whole bunch of work on this recently and then purely by coincidence i picked up your email from uh january the 26th of 2021 hi basil i have a long position from about 130 in vmc Vulcan materials I'll be back and we'll go through the story. What a beautiful move. Congratulations, Alan. You really have a beauty, a beauty there. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Dallas up 107 SMPs at 20. And here's the question. Hi, Bowser. I have a long position from 130 on VMC Vulcan Materials. It looked like it was breaking out of the 12-year base cup with handle pattern. It now appears to be coming back to its most recent breakout price in the 150 area. My longer term is in the 230 to 240 range. This is based on my 12-year base from top to bottom. Please do a chap wave analysis on the stock if you get a chance. Thanks for all you do, Alan. So let's look at this. And what we were looking at, so this is January, right? So we're going to go to January. So this is a fascinating thing. Uh, I, I didn't, I, I, it must have been at the time I'd done some analysis on it and I kept it up. So this is Vulcan Materials trading at <clears throat> down $2 at 188, having hit 191.52. Alan's projection was 230 to 240. It's still not there yet. So here's the pattern that I often talk about. You know, I talk about the dreaded H pattern. This is the pattern. Let me just talk about this right here. So in the travel wave methodology, today I'm going to make this a lesson. All right, today's like a lesson. Just put it down in your book as a lesson. Today, the 26th of October, is lesson day in the travel wave methodology. There's a pattern I call the dreaded H. Why? Because it comes down sharply. It makes an arch formation at a peak A or B. It fails and it takes out the left side low. If it holds the low, if it goes under it but closes above, there's a chance it could make a second arch. I call this the lowercase H, the dreaded H, because if it sharply takes out that left side low, it's going much further down. But at the same time, I then say there should be another arch sometimes if, if, if it's successful. Successful. And unless it decisively closes sharply above the arch high, which will be very positive, it can then make a big cup formation, a deep cup formation, there's a chance that it can make a second arch. And that arch can be very tiresome because it's basically in a rectangle formation. And my expression is a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. All right. Well, wait, look at this. Uh, oops, we have a question. We've got a, someone, a call, we've got a call up again to that. But this can be upside down. So the lowercase h could be a soft U shape, a, a, a Y, reverse Y formation. And then that Y can make a second. Look, here's your reverse Y, like the dreaded H. It broke just briefly above, and then it came back in. And it hasn't taken out that low. So this is the upside down dreaded H, which is a soft W formation. I'm going to continue with this as soon as we're done with our caller, Mike in Ormond Beach. Mike, how are you? That's why I'm doing great, and I'm I'm calling in about something similar to what you're talking about. I've got like a little watch list I'm putting together of stocks that are uh, getting near very low lows. Uh, one of which is like AT and T and yes. like Boeing. I'm looking for stocks that I can get at a very low low and possibly hold for a much longer term. So I was wondering, are there any any ones on your radar that you could share with us that that might be approaching very you know very low lows um, that might be a good longer term hold? Okay. So what I'll do is this: I'm going to first of all talk about telephone, 
And then I'm going to talk about uh, MJ, which we've had fantastic success with and lately not such great success um, because I make tight stops. MJ is the uh, MJ Alternate Harvest ETF Cannabis. At some, su at some point, the whole aspect of the financing for the cannabis area is going to be sort of resolved so that uh, that the, the the fed at least the banking part of it is is resolved there but the whole idea of the legal side to the legal side that also has to be done so longer term i think mj alternate harvest is going to be spectacular but i don't know if you want to wait through the the uh, there's 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 a legal side there's a whole bunch of things but if you look at telephone the reason why i've avoided these i keep talking about them in terms of uh in terms of dividend stocks that have the potential to give you a capital gain and I keep saying, you know, the whole area of this telecom situation is AT&T. Look at Verizon. Uh, Verizon had a fantastic move going all the way to the 62 area. Now it's at, now it's at 52, having hit 50, uh, 50 the other day. So th when I, I want a sector that has the potential to be a longer term move to the upside so that you can have capital gain as well as a dividend. And that's kind of in the sort of ballpark of what you're talking about. So I've right. been building up the list, and I, I think on Saturday for my overview section, I had a couple of stocks that sort of fitted this area, stocks that I love, stocks actually some were on the upside that were making new highs. How do you get into them? So what I'm going to suggest is this. Over the next week or so, I'm going to throw out a couple of ideas. But telephone is also in an area that is... It is so difficult because of the, right. the aspect of telecom. The fact is, I'm looking in another couple of weeks or so, I'm finally going to be able to say, hey, I don't need to have Comcast and Verizon. Um, I don't need backups all the, you know, all the time. I, I've got something that's proved to be secure. I'm going to choose one. I might even go, my daughter has a service. She pays like a quarter of what I'm paying. And she gets everything. And, and uh, uh, so there are ways of doing this. And that makes me very nervous about the telecom area. So all I'm going to say is you've got to be careful. Look at that move. I mean, look at that sharp move down in because all of these companies have other things. They have the area, area of media. So it's very difficult. And the competition with people cutting the cord, more and more people are going to do that. So I'm just going to say to you, let's look at areas, for instance, I had the multinational oils, and I could, we, we did have an Exxon, and then we got out of it. And I just said to subscribers, for a dividend stock, I can't have something that plummets uh, 12 or 13 percent when I'm trying to get a 4 or 5 percent dividend. Mm -hmm. So it may, and now they look fantastic, these uh, the multinational oils. <laughs> so I'm just going to say to you, the idea is fantastic, but at the same time, the risk You've got, I don't mind having patience, but I do not want to see a stock like an AT&T. You're getting because it, it looks great because it's down so much at 25. You know, if this thing drops to 17, that's, that's an eight point decline. It's over 30, but you've lost everything that you would have gained. So I'm just saying, I prefer to see something like this start to make higher highs and higher lows to give me a little bit of comfort and I know where the cushion is. I don't know if that helps you. Yeah, and and I, you know, Basil, the way I trade, I, I look for I look for some kind of a sign of strength before I usually, you know, get in. Yes. And I always use tight stops, so that's not an issue with me. But uh, you know, like I said, I'm just kind of putting a watch list together of stocks that are really, you know, beaten up really bad that have the potential so you know of what? Mike, possibly being you... longer term holds. So, Mike, why don't you with your list? Let's today is what today is Tuesday. Let's do this maybe. Thursday or Friday, give me some okay. of your list and let's look at them together. Okay? Awesome. And Basil, as always, I always appreciate all the things you've taught us throughout the years because it's just added more and more knowledge to my uh, 
uh, trading and help to make me a better trader. So thanks again for all the education. My pleasure. And a good repertoire allows you a variety of options. Thank you very much for calling, Mike. We'll be back, folks. We're going to finish up on Vulcan VMC because this is an interesting stock. I'll be back. Dow's up 101 S&P 29. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So we're looking at Vulcan Materials, VMC. It does crushed stone, sand, gravel, asphalt, concrete, uh, let's see, we've got this at a peak, a double top, almost a triple top in the monthly chart. And look at this beautiful inverted uh, dreaded H going to a lowercase M, but it accepts it's upside down. So it's the soft U going to a W. And it's got the same number of bars, everything about it looks really good. And what did I do? I had all this notated. And then purely by chance, I found the email from January uh, from Alan, and he was talking about VMC. Well, it did 193. He's looking for 220. I don't know, Alan, if you still got it, I bet I surprised you today. And it's going to peak A, B, C, D. Remember peak A right there, the little A, B underneath that. You always get, every peak gets counted, C, D, E, and it double tops. It goes underneath that. The high today is 191.52. It needs to get to 193.97 to start at a leg C in the monthly chart, and it's fading. But look, the MACD is good, stochastic to it. I think this is great. If you're talking about infrastructure, this is infrastructure. So I love this, and I think your target, because there's only a B in the monthly chart, in the 220s is absolutely correct. So 
Uh, we were looking just a moment ago, uh, we were looking at, uh, with Mike in Ormond Beach, we were looking at longer term. Yes, you want them at lows, but in the longer term perspective, if you can identify something that is structurally, <laughs> structurally within the format of the economic uh, the, the vernacular that you're in at this particular moment, Vulcan is it. If it pulls back nicely to the 180, it's at 189 right now. If it goes to 186 to 183, I want to have another look at that because that'll be the cup of the handle formation. And then we might have another move to the upside. So I hope that helps you. And also, I hope you're still holding this on the top of the base. I think about the 150 pound upside projection. So we'll do that tomorrow. We'll do DMC as this week's uh, interesting chapter wave analysis study chart. I'll be back tomorrow. Right. I'll be back tomorrow. 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 I'll be back t